Hey, but that cup though. Hey, what's going on, everybody? YouTube Ken Andy Daily here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put custom cups on your t-shirt sleeves. It's a very simple DIY slash cut and sew tutorial. This is going to be another beginner tutorial, so it's to help out the new cut and sewers, the new DIYers, the new people with new sewing machines. The cool thing about these custom cups is it's not a permanent change. If I don't want the custom cups to be showing up, all I need to do is just bring the sleeve down. Let me do this on the other side as well. Bam! Back to normal. But without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of everything you're going to need for the tutorial. The tools that you're going to need for this project is just your pair of cutting tools and some pins. For the materials, you're just going to need a half a yard of fabric and the t-shirt that you want to use, make sure it's sized up and that's everything you're going to need. First thing you want to do is grab your cutting tool and cut about one to two inches from the edge of your sleeve, we're gonna be using this as a cuff template. To make sure that both sides are symmetrical, you can use the template as a reference to cut the other side. Be sure to be on point with your cutting because you don't wanna end up with uneven sides. After all the cutting, you should end up with two pieces. Next, we're going to be cutting out the fabric that we're gonna be using for the cuff. So go grab your fabric and you wanna double up by folding the fabric in half. Now you want to grab your cuff template and put it on the side of the fabric that has the fold. Using the diagram in the bottom left of the screen, go ahead and cut off the excess fabric. Once you're done cutting one strip, remember to repeat the same process for the second strip as well. Next, we're going to be sewing the fabric right onto the t-shirt. Make sure the t-shirt is right side up and the fabric is face down on the t-shirt. Now you want to locate the bottom of the sleeve, grab some pins, and that's where you want to start pinning the fabric onto the sleeve. Take your time on this and evenly distribute the fabric all the way around the sleeve. Once you're done with all the pinning, you want to go back to the area where we started. So that's where the bottom of the sleeve is and that's where the two ends should meet. Before we sew the fabric onto the t-shirt, we have to sew together the two ends of the strip. So the way we do this is we face right sides together. Then you want to line them up and grab a pin. Try to pin very close to the end without causing some of the fabric to fray. Now you want to take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the area in which we pin the two ends together. Make sure to start and end with a back stitch. After you've sewn the ends together, you can now sew the fabric onto the t-shirt. Go all the way around with a zigzag stitch or an overlock stitch and have a one centimeter allowance from the edge. Since we had a one centimeter seam allowance, we need to cut off all the excess material. So grab your pair of scissors and just cut off the excess material. After you finish both sides, turn your t-shirt inside out. Next, we're going to be hemming the cuff. It's actually very simple. All you need to do is fold the edge of the cuff inwards about two millimeters, and then you wanna grab some pins and pin down the fold. Be sure to take your time on this because if you don't, you're just gonna end up with some uneven cuffs and that's just really whack. But once you're done with all the pinning, it should look something like this. Next, you wanna take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the pin areas and remember to start and end with the back stitch. Next, we're gonna repeat the same process and hem the edge once more. This is so we can hide any fraying that is left behind. Once you're done with all the hemming, you want to fold the cuff inwards and pin it in place. Use the diagram in the bottom left of the screen as a reference on where you need to pin. Once you're done with all the pinning, it should look something like this. Now you want to take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the top and bottom of the cuff to lock it in place. Remember to start and end with a back stitch and also take your time. Once you're done with all the sewing, be sure to throw on your new custom cuff t-shirt. Throw those cuffs up. 
But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Los Angeles Lakers Galaxy print combination. And also, if you have any questions, concerns, whatever, let me know in the comment section below. But that's the tutorial. Nice and sweet for all you new beginners out there. But anyways, guys, this is Kenanu Daily, and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.